My life be like Another day, another dollar here at Tom's Reefer. Today, I'm gonna do some more final trimming, small trimming to get this body to fit on this chassis. And then after that, I'm gonna start trying to attach it. But for now, I just gotta get it to fit, slide down and sit on top of it. Because right now I'm hitting in multiple places. So I'll fix that up. I'm gonna do some trimming. I'm gonna drop it up and down and up and down and up and down. And hopefully it fits. I went ahead and I cut off the bottom of the rockers and the top inside of the rockers. So the plan is you'll still be able to see the factory outer rocker and it will hopefully slide over the Honda rockers. I also trimmed up the rear wheel tubs. I trimmed up that brace a little bit. Um, I also trimmed up some stuff up here to hopefully clear this roll bar. So I'm gonna take my uh, trusty strap off here and we're gonna drop it down to see if it fits any better. Ugh, I did not want to do this, but it is literally the only way it will clear the roll bar. Bye bye. Okay, I'm now joined by Blake once again. Now <laughs> we are. <laughs> now we are getting very close to fitting this car in here. We've done some final trimming on the edges to contour with the Honda's body line, and we're also trimming up the inner wheel wells of the Mustang body just to fit over the Honda suspension. And then I think it's gonna go on for the last time. We dropped it down about 10 minutes ago. It was very close. So now we are approaching the final drop down time. We, I don't know if y'all see what we're creating here but this looks absolutely insane. That's a Mustang. That's a Honda. Or that wheel arch is definitely off kilter. We've reassessed a lot of the things on the car. What we're actually gonna do is move the body back like two inches so that the rear wheel arches will line up. And that way the front fenders will also line up a little better. We're gonna have to modify the wheel openings for them, but that's another story. So right now, we need to lift the body back up, clean up a lot of our cuts. Um, we're gonna cut out the front cross brace of the roll bar right there. Up That way the body will sit flush with the rockers. And then we're gonna do some cleaning up and then we're gonna probably start with some welding. Okay, now we've trimmed and sanded things up. So the cuts we've made are smoother and cleaner. I shot some paint back here because the amount of rust actually bothered me. But now we are ready to drop it onto the chassis, maybe for the last time. We might weld it this time. All right, holy shit, folks. We have a 1965 Ford Mustang body sitting on a 1996 Honda Civic chassis right now. This is the final fit up. It has sat on there 100%, it's done. Even the rear wheels are pretty lined up. I'm so hype about this. It's sitting in here, we've gotten a couple tack welds, you can see over there, just holding the body on. Right now, I just took the seats out and I'm going to actually weld the inner rockers of the Mustang to the pinch welds of the Honda. That's really gonna be the main hold down of this body. Now it looks absolutely insane. So what I'm doing is I'm using this air hammer here to hammer this pinch well even with the Mustang inner fender or inner rocker I mean and then I'm just throwing a weld in every couple inches. Hell yeah. 
All right. Right now we're going to buy some wheels. I found them on Facebook. A little over 500 bucks, which isn't great, and they are four bucks, so they actually bolt right onto the Honda, which is ideal. I was thinking about doing Mustang wheels, but then I would need five lug adapters. That adds money. That adds a little bit more stress on the front axles and all that. So I think these wheels are 18s. They're not too wide. They should fit fine. All right. They're back there, 575. Not too bad. More than I would pay normally, but it's a really pretty nice set of wheels with Pirelli tires on them. And they are exactly what I need. They're 18s and they'll bolt right onto the Honda. So they'll look pretty cool once I shoot them black. Okay, so I didn't do any recording today, but I test fitted these wheels I bought. 18 inch, you got Pirelli tires on them, 575 bucks. They look pretty good. Can't decide if I'm gonna do black or silver. But today was just a little lame stuff, really not worth recording. Just did some bracing on the front of the car. So now the doors are super strong. They close, they don't sag. The body is now welded to the chassis. We need to weld it in more spots, but it's attached. Going to get a fender now, baby. We pop fender for like a hundred bucks or some shit off Facebook. We got about a 50 minute drive ahead of us and I'm currently playing with this coyote in front of me in old red Chevy. Dog, I'm gonna give him salt once we hit the goddamn highway, dog. Uh-huh. Okay, so that guy literally had a quarter panel. <laughs> he had a passenger side quarter panel in a fender box. He never bothered to open the box, so he said he had one, but it wasn't a it wasn't a fender, so thankfully I'm about 20 minutes away from like a Mustang specialty parts supplier. Making a short trip there right now. They have a fender and they actually probably have all the little penny pieces I'm missing from the body. So hopefully I can score it all in one. We just got a valence, the quarter panel extension, taillight bezels, a trunk lid that magically matches the old paint color of the car and a new reproduction fender for the side. That looks absolutely radical. It almost looks like a sort of wide body from this angle. I really thought it would look worse, but. Blake, awesome job. Thank you so much for helping with this. We got, or he really, got this fender mocked up. Cut out the wheel arch. Cut a five inch section out of the back. Moved the wheel arch back and welded the section to the front. We cut the body line off right here. It used to go up to about here. Um, but you know, everything lines up pretty damn well and it does not look bad at all. I think it'd be pretty badass if we had a couple air dam scoop things on either side. So it's gonna be custom and this hood is trashed anyway. So if it gets all completely screwed up doing this, it doesn't really matter. I meant to say trunk. Sorry, no, that was pretty tough. Quick little mock up right there. That's gonna look badass when it's all said and done. We got a whole lot of sheet metal. So we have these hood scoops mocked up. 
basically all we did was drew it out so everything's symmetrical. Cut, cut, cut. Hammered this angle down. And then we're angling this upwards. We just have them propped up on these little metal rods for right now. They're not welded or anything. So what Blake here is doing is we just got some sheet metal. And he's tracing out where he needs to cut. So we're gonna cut that out, both sides. And then we're gonna just tack it in here. We got Blake doing some fab work. Smile, Blake. No. And that's, that's, that's helping with some paint. Paint, <laughs> yummy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this square tubing here. I'm gonna run some along these angles right here, weld them to the subframe, and then I'm gonna extend them up and then back, and then weld them back here. For the front fender mounts, let's use this flat stock, bolt it to the stock uh, crash bar. Got some pretty little welds on there, a little MIG welder, always does a job. Now we are gonna test fit the fenders one last time, make sure my new fender mounts line up as they should. We're gonna test fit the hood as well. And then if that's all good, I'm gonna finalize all this welding, paint it up, and then I guess we're gonna bolt it together for good. Final mock-up. Yeah. Now we're getting the fenders fitted up. Or actually, we got them fitted up. We're installing them now. Very exciting. Find a hole! Good. We cleaned up the shop. We're gonna drop it down now that the fenders are actually bolted on for good. And the hood's just sitting on there right now. This hood looks absolutely badass. Okay, so since this car's front wheel drive, we obviously need lots of downforce. So now we are fabricating a rear spoiler for it. We're gonna do a ducktail style wing. Um, it's gonna be welded to the trunk. We're gonna make it out of steel. And it'll be pretty badass when it's all done. After about 18 different drawings, we have this very aggressive and pretty damn tall ducktail. We're getting ready to cut it out. Yeah, Matt's gonna cut this out. We're just gonna weld it to the trunk lid because we don't give a shit about the body tails on this car. It's all custom. Mint. That is very aggressive. It's very, very dramatic. Yeah. It's almost too tall, which is like perfect. Should we trim off a little on the top or no. what? Just leave it. I don't know. That's just a lot of weight. Oops. Yeah, we'll trim a little bit off of it. It's a little tall. Am I doing this right? Ends off of the car, like it's not driving, and we're just making a spoiler for it. Don't have any priorities. Yeah, our priorities are in order. So we got that uh, home built ducktail on there, a little tall, but we like it aggressive. And now I took some cardboard and cut out. I'm gonna do a couple fins on there, probably three total. Got them in, tacked into place. Just finished this one up. This one's gonna go. Damn, it looks cool. All right, that baller ass hood is done. Baller ass spoiler is done. Side skirts. 
are completely lacking, completely lacking on the side skirt game. All right, so it took a couple sketches, but I figured out how I'm gonna make it. I think it'd be cool if we get that spot welded look, that tack welded look around here, drop down beneath the doors, go all the way up to the front. I wanna fill this gap here where you can see underneath the Honda chassis with all the holes and everything. Um, I just want the body line to come down all the way. So I got the basic sheet cut for the side skirt. What I'm gonna do is that little lip right there is gonna get bent at a 90 degree angle and get welded inside. Side skirt is mostly tacked into place. It actually looks kind of cool. It's tacked behind that fender, tacked inside the rocker in the door. That's tacked up here. I'm gonna add a couple more, just letting it cool off so it doesn't warp. Uh, it's welded alongside the rocker panel on the inside. Pretty damn happy with that turnout. That's cool. And there goes with the body line. Tried to make it so it went alongside the scoop. Got a little lip in there, so it continues the wheel arch lip, not just a cut off. I think that's pretty tough. And I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bang out the other side. It's probably gonna take like an hour or two, and I'm not gonna record all that again. This side's all done. Very happy with the turnout. Looks pretty tough. Got that wheel lip just like the other side. So side skirts are about done. We might add a little bit more to the front, uh, but for now, they're good. Just made some NASCAR style rear window bars to keep the rear window from flying out when we do thousands of miles an hour. <laughs> that was kind of tough. So we just mocked up the valence, bolted it to the factory location there, and just kind of set the grill and headlight buckets in, set the hood on it, and this valence sticks out way too far. We're not going to be running a bumper on it, because I don't think a bumper is going to look good. There's no other chrome or flashy accessories on the rest of the car. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to cut about two inches out of here and bring it back against the fender. Okay, so we took the two inches off the valence and just tacked it on here. I have now tacked on both sides of the valence, which has been split in half because there's a little gap there since we've shortened it on the edges. And what I'm gonna do is cut the structure out of this, and bend it to contour that valence, make it match. cut an inch and a quarter wide piece of sheet metal and I just tagged it in the back two corners there and I'm going to weld it up to about here and then I'm actually going to cut this whole thing out because I think it'll look pretty cool with the intercooler sticking out of that. That's welded on. Right, check that out. We widened it a bit. Not too freaking shabby for an angle grinder and an old flat disc, huh? So I took sheet metal like that, and I just bent around the cut that I made, and I ended up with this piece that's actually pretty damn cool. Got that centerpiece welded up, of course, and we just took some sheet metal, cut it, 
to match so it fits the curve of the valence outwards and it's flat up top because I want this gap underneath the lights to be pretty straight and then made a filler panel to go straight back underneath the grill. Doing the same thing to this side, got the sheet metal tacked in, drew out the piece to go on the top, which will get tacked in next. We are at this crazy junkyard called Criswell's up here in Nottingham, Pennsylvania, and uh, finally found some headlight buckets for the car. The one piece we're missing off the front end, um, but there are tons of insane cars here, literally hundreds if not thousands of all old cars. So it's really cool. There's some headlight buckets alongside this side of the valence. It's tacked up. I'm bucketing. Yeah, Mark's bucketing. And I'm gonna make a piece to go across here and point out with the grill. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, that's tacked. So now I gotta finish the lower one and then I gotta make a plate for up here as well. I'm gonna make some little plates to go in there to connect those two pieces. I traced out what I needed and I'm imagining I'm gonna have to cut it off there. It's tacked on both pieces. Now I need to make a flat piece. And I also gotta weld that some more, but it's getting close. It still needs cleaned up, but we got some more welds on there just to fill all the gaps. Also made this piece right here, another piece of sheet metal, like everything else. So it all follows that point. It's all pretty symmetrical. I didn't show it before, but we rounded out these edges and brought them up a little bit. So it is a round shape. More tack welds along. Also made these little filler pieces right here to fill these gaps that were left. That's on both sides. Not sure if I'm gonna weld everything like completely or if I'm just gonna leave this tack weld to finish, but the valence is uh, for the most part complete. There's one last quick little mock-up for you. That valence came out pretty neat. I'm very happy with that. It goes with the kind of point of the front end. And that's looking crazy. All right, while we are not done with all of the little metal work, like there's still some cleaning up to do on the valence, there's still some things that need attached, and we might fabricate some other things down the line. So we have made a badass hood, we've made a badass spoiler, some side skirts, a cool valence, we got fenders mounted. I'm having so much fun doing it with my buddies and I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you to Blake, thank you to Matt. Thank you to all my other friends that have been here for this. We got it all mocked up and looking super sexy. So that's all for this video. The next video is gonna cover the final little tweaks and the accessories that are needed to get this car on the road. And hopefully we will take it for a spin. So if you sat through this and you're at this point, thank you so much for the support. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're enjoying watching this build come along. All right, see y'all.